a sound relationship between the federal government and the African Development Bank, where Nigeria is the major shareholder, have helped the growth of the AFDB, hence this edifice. The new country department complex of the AFDB. The vice president lauded the bank's approval of a $1 billion loan, which was largely instrumental to ending Nigeria's recession in 2017. When we requested support from the bank, the response was swift. The bank approved a budget support loan of $1 billion in November 2016. The first tranche of $600 million has been fully disbursed and utilized, and uh, in my uh, discussions with the uh, president of the bank, we will be getting uh, the remainder in form of sector, uh, sector loans. So we're looking forward to uh, the, the, the remaining $400 million. Nigeria's first president of the bank, Dr. Akimu Miyadishino, enumerates major projects in Nigeria the bank has assisted in funding. We put in $80 million into the fund for financing agriculture in Nigeria. This year, we will also be investing $200 million in the transmission company of Nigeria to support the rehabilitation of existing transmission lines in partnership with the World Bank. We've invested $100 million in the mainstream power IPP in Jeba and Kainji to add 700 megawatts to the national grid. Nigeria's finance minister, Mrs. Kemi Adeoshu, is confident the new structure will help deepen ties and promote an all-inclusive growth. Owing to AFDB's important role in poverty alleviation and development in, in Africa, Nigeria in particular needs the AFDB and its program of high fives, which encompass investing more in infrastructure, agriculture, education, health care, and increased access to affordable energy and water. This is the first structure of the bank established in 1964 outside its headquarters in Abidjan. The government hopes to go beyond this achievement to consolidate regional cooperation for the growth of all member countries.